Hi, welcome to Flash for the Non-Geek. And in this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to create a remote control that controls a video. And in the last lesson, what we did was we loaded a video into our TV screen. And uh, let me play that for you now so you can see, see what it looks like. So we loaded a movie into a target. And then we masked the target. So now we're going to create a remote control that actually controls the video. So I'm going to go up to Window, Library, I'm going to drag over the remote image. Uh, before I drag it over, I'm going to create a layer for it. Name it Remote, drag it over, and I'm just going to put it right over here. And the next thing I'm going to do is create a new layer and name it Remote Buttons and I'm going to drag over the video buttons. Now if you want to use the same files I'm using, go to nongeekbooks.com and click on Flash Tutorials and you'll see all the files right there. Now I'm going to create one more layer. I'm going to name it Buttons. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to create our first button. I'm going to zoom in. Go up to 100% or 200%. Okay. Now you can see our buttons. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool, make sure stroke color is turned off, and I'm going to click any color, and I'm going to create a shape over the over the rewind image. Then I'm going to select the shape, go to modify, convert to symbol, click on button, and name this rewind button. Now it says rewind button is already taken. So I'm going to say rewind button new. Okay, so I'm going to select this and I'm going to add a quick code to it. Now if you're in Flash CS4, before you can add any actions to a button, you have to go to File, Publish Settings, click in Flash and make sure you're in Flash Player 8 or earlier, make sure you're on Action Script 2, hit OK, and now you should be able to uh, Open up your actions panel and add any code you want to it. So, let's double click on actions. If you don't see your actions panel, go to window actions. Select your button. Make sure your script assist button is turned on. Now, we want this button to tell the movie to rewind. So you're, you're not actually not going to control the video. You're, you're going to control the movie clip, the target movie clip that the video loaded into. So, scroll down on the left side till you see deprecated. Open up actions and double click tell target. In the target field, type in slash target. Now we want it to go back to frame one and play. So you go to global functions, timeline control, and double click go to. And you don't have to change anything here. What it's saying is it's telling the target, our movie clip, to go to frame one and go to and play. So if we were to test this movie, if we click on this rewind button, you see how it tells our video to uh, rewind and start playing again? So it's working correctly. Next thing we've got to do, we have to take down the transparency, take down the alpha. So we're going to click this button, open up your properties panel. If you don't see it, go to window, properties, and properties. Select it, go to color, and select alpha, and just make sure your alpha is zero. So next thing we want to do is we want to copy this. Go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, and we're going to move this to the middle over the stop button. And once we do that, open up your actions panel. Delete any code that's in the actions window. Scroll down, and just as, be, just as we did before, click on Deprecated, Actions, and double-click Tell Target. And we're controlling the movie clip, which is named Target, so we'll type in Target. And we want, the, we want the movie clip to stop. We want the video to stop playing once we hit the Stop button. So go to Global Functions, Timeline Control, and double-click Stop. That button is done now. We're now we're going to copy this button by going to Edit, Copy. Then we'll go to Edit, Paste in Place. 
and we'll move this button over to the play image. And just as before, we're going to scroll down, go to deprecated actions, tail target, type in the name of the movie clip, and we want the video to start playing, so we go to global functions, timeline control, and double click play. So now, if we test our movie, we can stop it, rewind it, stop it, play, stop, play, stop. Looks good. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're actually going to get, we're going to have a button that's going to stop the video completely. Just take it off the TV. And we're going to click on the last button, go to edit, copy, edit, paste, and place drag this new button over the close image open up the actions panel delete whatever code is in there now we want this button to get rid of the video so we do that by clicking it go over here to global functions and browser network and double click un unload movie select target and just name this the name of the movie clip, Target. Now if we test it, see all our buttons work fine. If we hit close, the video disappears, so it's gone. And that's it for this lesson. Now if you want to learn more, you know, of course there's a lot more to it. Um, I have a new book out called uh, Flash for the Non-Geek. 600 and some pages just full of information and once you understand load movies once you understand tail target and and um, you know how to control movie clips there's just nothing you can't do in flash it's really fun really exciting stuff so anyway that's the end of this lesson uh, hope to talk to you soon thanks for watching yeah.